people, and then they music was so different. Them boy, they had, they had, you know, KSL. And then over here, they coming with Manny Fresh. Like yeah. this was a new sound. Like we sitting there like, damn. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I remember being on the bus with Luke them. And here come cash money. And you looking like, damn, P them got to run. That cash money getting to run. Same city. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> like, woo. Goddamn. <laughs> so, and then they music was so different. Them boy, they had, they had, you know, KSL. And then over here, they coming with Manny Fresh. Like yeah. this was a new sound. Like we sitting there like, damn. And I remember being on tour with Luke. And I remember even us, we started saying, yo, it's a new wave about to come through here. And it's really nothing we could do about it. Wow. And the wave is so strong that you had to respect it. Like we got on, after after that album, C Murder called us and was like, yo, I want Goody Mob on my album. I said, we coming to, uh, we coming to New Orleans. And you know, I'm, a, I'm me and Fiend always been cool. Shout out to Fiend. Fiend, Fiend, Fiend always been my man. And that was right when Mac them got in trouble. Yeah. So I get there, the city kind of real strange. See Murder on his thing, you know, he was on his thing then. And um, just to watch and see what they did in that city at that time, I had to say, hey bro, P took care of y'all. Cause Sylvester, Tavesta, who used to run No Limit with P, to Vesta Scott, yeah. that was my guy too. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like that was my guy too. And for me to be able to see that all they artists had houses, all they artists had cars, everybody had. The only thing that they didn't understand at that time was they said, "Kip, man, we getting, we getting, uh, we getting like two hundred fifty, three hundred fifty thousand for for our contract. We good." And since since I'm on a major and they on the independent. I knew P was just giving them a publishing deal and they just didn't understand it. Wow. So, yeah, they got a lot of money up front, but really you sold all your publishing away for that money, you know, and you wasn't going to understand it until it mm -hmm. stopped. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I felt like it was only good for artists like Mystical, cause Mystical came in already coming in with a road. That's right. He could get on the road, do his shows, and the other artists that was on No Limit couldn't go out without P. So I would watch how Mystical always made money in that situation when the others couldn't. So when P didn't go out, when he created such a big thing, and then you went and played basketball, you really left a roster of artists that you didn't give the time and then help them set their careers up before you left and started playing basketball. So I think that's the only place that No Limit kind of like messed up. Messed up at. It's cool, like, he kind of put all his thing in the snoop. You know? Yeah, That's yeah. cool, I you know what I mean? He put all his thing in the snoop and that's where he wanted to go mentally was to the West and do that. And, and that's cool, but I'm just saying as far as if you look at the position and what he had did, you built the company from your neighborhood, from your city. And then you abandon them wow. when it was time to go and really do the work yeah. for their albums. Because you could put out records all day. You was getting paid because you was the man at the top. But them putting out records like that and not going on the road and building a real relationship between them and their fans, it was once the hype, down, the hype died down, those artists didn't have a career. Wow, man. So that's where... And you could see that in real yeah, time, in yeah, real time. Yeah, because I'm in it, and I'm knowing, I'm like, I'm with L.A. and Babyface. All my house is mine. All my car is mine. I don't know nothing about the company pay me mm -hmm. a salary every month. What that is? 
that what that, that's 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 your girlfriend. That's, that ain't you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like you ain't gonna pay me no money every month. But I'm gonna get what I'm due. You know you don't issue me nothing. And I feel like that was the thing with the independence that I was watching that they had the advantage. Yeah, over the artists that if the artists wasn't you know as 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 educated as they needed to be, then they just going for this two fifty situation, which really turned out to be one album with no tour. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.